Let's do some comic art today. Hey class, welcome back. Another wonderful class today. So Mr. G here. Today we're going to be talking comic books and some comic book art. Now for me, I love comics. I, I, I just love, there's some. There's just something fun about comics. You know, I got some uh, Bravest Warriors, came in a loot crate, Batman, classic. So I just finished watching WandaVision and I'm starting Falcon and the Winter Soldier now. And these reminiscence of the origins of comics and comic book art. And I want to fuse that more into some of the lessons I'm doing. Let's do a quick project. We're getting close to summer. We're doing some more summer programs uh, in my area. And one of the things that we're trying to build upon is literacy. So how are we gonna incorporate more literacy into the arts and trying to build out a more robust program encouraging students to read more? I thought, what better way to do it than through the wonderful world of comics? So, had some time, I had some map board, had some paint. So this is encouraging the students to uh, find a cool phrase, saying, or something in some comic books and then creating a 3D representation from it. Now for this project, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna isolate your word. You're gonna find a word that you're gonna use for this piece. Now, m basic ones, you got pop, zoom, bang, ouch, pow. These are great words to use. They're simple, they're, they're just a few letters long. You're not doing a lot of structure elements to them is just kind of usually three to four letters and try and build them together now when i'm building letters together first thing i tell my students always is write it out as though you're writing it on a piece of paper just make a very large just normal size piece after you do that outline the letter by tracing around it in a block letter format by itself now the reason why i tell my students to do this is because having them write out the word first one less hurdle that they have to come to if they are thinking that they have to draw a bubble letter straight off of nothing in, into empty space i can do it but i've been drawing for a long time can all my students do it no and i'm not going to give them that burden to, to try and to overcome now once you have the word knocked out that is the biggest thing of this entire project so that's like the hard part the rest of that stuff is really simple so when i'm working on my piece of thought i definitely want to have two to three explosion elements in the image and then have a final panel of a smoke cloud so you have that nice um like the dust is blown up around you you have that element that cloud element so for the piece here, you have five different elements that we're trying to incorporate. We have the text element, the three explosion elements, and then the cloud element. So right there, you already can gauge what is gonna be cut and dry in the in the grading rubric. Now, after I've knocked out the lettering structure, I do wanna put little notches in my board so that as I'm tracing uh, the explosion elements behind it, I can make sure that the explosion elements are slightly bigger than the previous design. Uh, you can measure your board and make sure that it's just kind of as long as everybody's going to the tips every so often that you're going to get the right size but i do like to have my students when they're cutting the pieces out that they can see the progression a lot easier i kind of want to have a half build half drawn out at the same time I, I think it leads to a better understanding of what they're trying to do cutting out all these little little, little sections you know you can use scissors you can use an exacto knife me i kind of use both going back and forth it is whatever you feel comfortable with don't forget i do have a tip video on using blades inside the classroom so make sure that you watch that if you want some additional helpful tips into how to incorporate using exacto knives in a safe and and safer manner and, and how these things cut most students don't know how a blade cuts and i think that's an important uh tip to know now once you cut out all those pieces then we get into the coloring portion so spray paint is my go-to always when i'm doing with uh elements of color why because i like spray paint that's why uh, you guys can use paint marker color pencil whatever you guys want to use to get the color on the board i do suggest that you do have accent colors to finish off the piece so uh i started using a black sharpie realized that the black sharpie on top of the paint was not working so go to plan b what's that ink and so I just grabbed a ball of ink and I used the brush and lightly tried to go around the edge of the design. And then once that was done, we're going ahead and start making our, our spacer pieces. Now for this piece, I definitely want to have spacer elements inside of the image. So as I'm, what I'm doing is I just cut a couple strips of mat again, chopped them off into little cubes or sorry, little squares, stack the squares up to build little cubes and push those under each of the sections. Now, make sure that as you're building, as you're building these pieces together, that where you're placing it is going to be over something uh, that you're building a, a simple structure where you're, you're 
center mass is kind of where all of the weight is being pushed. Does it have to be that way? No, you can kind of have it off kilter and slide it around however it fits as long as it stays up and doesn't sag anywhere. That's the key. You want to make sure that you're having enough central weight distribution and the reason because you don't want to have the element sag over time and it will uh, you know, depending on you know, on humidity and, and other factors, uh, will warp over time if you're not careful. So if you want to keep it robust for long term, that's the best suggestion for it. So then we get our final design. Now for this, I will say that I went back and I added a couple things. I had some green, uh, had some green kind of um, glittery paint that I added around the outside edge just because it gives it a little more pop. I re black painted uh, around the edges of Zoom the gold explosion element and uh, some of the cloud. I know I missed a few spots, but overall it works out really well and it comes out to a nice three dimensional piece. You got the nice separations of the levels in there. You have all the different components that we were talking about prior and it just comes out as a good simple piece. Uh, if you want to hang this up in a bedroom, they have these little uh, hook things that you just kind of slide in there. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, but You'd find them probably around the framing section in a, in a Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever you got around you, craft store. Uh, and it makes just a nice little add-on that you can hang on a wall. And uh, for you know elementary kids, this is a fun project to do, middle school, high school, that you can really kind of just go sky's the limit on what you guys want to make. And it creates a wonderful piece all around. All right, guys, I hope that you guys had a fun lesson today. Got something new out of today's class, uh, doing some comic book art i'm gonna go back i'm gonna crack this bad boy open i want to read it today uh black white and red that sounds ominous but i like the whole uh noir kind of style to this i like that nice 1940s kind of mystique cool stuff all right let's go ahead and wrap up class like we always do don't forget to like subscribe and share all the various platforms get the message out there to as many teachers and students as we possibly can educating the masses is what we do and don't forget if you guys had a question comment or concern today don't forget to raise those hands in the comments below happy to answer questions from my classmates and as always i will see you guys next class until then I'm gonna go do some reading see you guys later later guys oh it's all taped up again I like the little rose on the back of here. I think this is a, I don't know what it means yet, but it's fun. This one's all like a mob boss kind of thing. I, can you see that? It's like 1940s, like, I'm gonna, you're gonna get whacked and knock you off. Just, it's like a whole moment on here, like, leave the money, take the cannoli. Good, dark, but good. Oh. Matches, it's, 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 it's